Tensions have risen between the White House and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as Israeli forces prepare to invade the southern Gaza city of Rafah. Western leaders warn the offensive could force thousands of Palestinians from the Gaza Strip. Fox News senior correspondent Mike Tobin has more. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu pushing back on the White House's vision for a post-war Gaza, including its calls for a Palestinian state, writing in a statement, quote, Israel categorically rejects international dictates regarding a permanent settlement with the Palestinians. The comments come after a phone call between the Prime Minister and President Biden, during which the leaders discussed the next stage in the fight against Hamas. On Friday, Vice President Kamala Harris reaffirmed the administration's belief in a two-state solution. There can cannot be, in my opinion, peace and security for that region, for the people of Israel or the Palestinians and the people of Gaza without a two-state solution. Netanyahu is also promising to move ahead with an offensive in the southern Gaza city of Rafah. President Biden and other Western leaders are asking Israel to hold off on the operation until there's a plan to ensure the safety of civilians. The protection Israeli offensive on Rafah will only lead to an unprecedented humanitarian disaster and will be a turning point in this conflict. Meanwhile, Egypt is reportedly building a wall and leveling land at the Gaza border to potentially shelter Palestinians fleeing Rafah during an Israeli offensive, though officials here say they plan to evacuate civilians to other parts of the Gaza Strip. We have no intention to deport any of them out of the Gaza Strip. More than a million Palestinian civilians are estimated to be sheltering in Rafah. In Tel Aviv, Mike Tobin, Fox News.